Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? Silence! I didn't give you permission to speak, you Sidorian hound. <sighs> the guys in black didn't say much, so I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. But I figured you must have had good luck, so I bought you. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? Oh, I have a whole day to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jones Hostel. Huh. Well, hello, man. <laughs> this bar offers a wide variety of drinks, but we draw the line at so much. Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? Here's to you, the nameless, with this glass of a ticket to the boneyard. Oh, I'm gonna die. To the dead and the dying. <laughs> well done, Gallagher. <laughs> so, are you satisfied? Oh, the flavors! They're way more sophisticated than Soul Glad! We made a choice, go fight against your face! They will come with a place! They will wake up a dead man to crawl in this torment! Let's dig deeper into the case, and of course, I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. What's so important about right. this guy? Let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly isn't a local or an invited guest. In other words, she's a stowaway. Yeah. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. But here on the planet of festivities, stowaways are a common sight. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. But here's the thing. We only received bad news. And the trickiest kind at that. She simply vanished. Leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality. As if she had never come to Penacony at all. Because you're probably not looking for just a girl. If it is what I think, we're probably looking for a big mech. Huh? Does that mean... We're looking for a suit of armor. Maybe things will turn out different than we think? Different? Are you suggesting that girl wasn't actually killed? Come on. Aren't you a witness in this case? Yeah, I'd like to be hopeful. Let me be frank. This case, actually, is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. Dealt with before? So, death does happen in Penacony, if I understand correctly. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. Confronting the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. I guess it's time to tell the story of that Mikhail. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music box too, right? Do you know the secrets it holds? There's a message. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacony. And thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> That's the exact wording. Hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? It's quite poetic. No, but I'm the officer in charge of this case. Well, how could I not know? 
I'm sure you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. You might have even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. That's just our speculation. Actually, it's hard to believe that the father of Penacony and its actual managers are at odds. Now I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. The family has considered the watchmaker an enemy for a long time. But the hounds haven't been able to track him down, as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. What? Why the hell is this place even up and going if the of the if the two main people aren't the two main sides aren't even friends with one another? What the hell is going on in this goddamn place? Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world, inviting you here and causing chaos? So, you want to seize this opportunity to expose the Watchmaker? Well, now you understand why the Oak family authorized the Nameless to assist in the investigation, but kept you in the dark, right? Because the Watchmaker is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful stain in the history of Penacony, and he's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. Man, what the hell is next? But what does this have to do with that Mikhail? You don't get it? He's well, the watchmaker? I mean, Mikhail, the betrayer of the family, he's the watchmaker. Oh, of course. Of course he is. You're, you're gonna hit me with the black screen, the loading, probably a scene change now. Here we are. Clock Studios theme park. Who the hell am I? Entertainment Center in Penacone. Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the Watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to maybe a library or an archive room of sorts, but an amusement park? The culture of a city reflects its history in the most authentic way. To you, it's a fun place. But to me, it's a prison for the planet's past. You know that Penacone used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? All the prisoners were brought here, helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking Memoria from the Macro Void. The prolonged exposure to high concentrations of Memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners intersected and overlapped, and people started meeting each other in their dreams, living lives that were almost identical to reality. But everything has a price, and sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. He is Hanu, the great leader of Dreamville, the great peacemaker, and the faithful companion of the underdogs. So the character Hanu is based on a real-life person. History is always written by the winners. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacone's actual history. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, you'll understand why we're here. There are so many members of the Bloodhound family around here. They just received a lockdown order, supposedly from Sunday himself. Who knows what it's for? Oh, man. Well, we're two things away from uh, getting to the end. She replied, I want to die. Why did... Wow, look at that. This stuff can only get worse the further we go. Investing here is like a bet. Part of me... How big is this place? I sure do hope there's not a lot of dialogue with characters. Quacky in the mirror, princess. My friend, have we met before? Get out of there. Ah, oh, crap, you're a different one. Oh, no. 
Do you want to be as fortunate as me? Come and sing with me. Just sing the happy chirp. Favored by fortune. Well, give me a game console. Man, now I gotta find more birds. Which means I need to go back to the adventuring bullshit and find all his birds. Ugh. Still stuck. Interesting. that you were rushing for, you can't remember it. Crap. <laughs> so many of them. I've never seen anything like this, even when they're tracking down suspects. Can you convince them to let us in? We don't need to go in. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention inside. We can just talk here. Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. View here is great, right? We can see everything from here, including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the watchmaker. In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the watchmaker when I met him, so maybe he inherited the title. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? I'm 13. What? 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 13? God, you look awful for 13. This guy looks like he's in his 40s. What? You're th you must mean you're 13 decades. <sighs> no way. Not even close. Hanunu freed the frontier prison. Oh, okay, he's you're just still yeah, okay, cool. Him. With limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Ostana was uncertain. It wasn't until the Watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penacone finally gained its name and glory. Thus, he became known as the father of Penacone. But didn't you say the Watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... No, I'm not his companion rather one of his many children but I am indeed a traitor not to the family but to Mikhail what did you do <sighs> I did nothing and that's the worst betrayal of all just like you I had close companions we dedicated ourselves to Penacone but the Oak family they set us up hang on pup I know you want to come over here and lay down Come here. Come here. Here you go. 
Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony. Even though the true traitors were someone else, while they continue to praise the Watchmaker's name in the world, behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore Harmony to Penacony. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog, the family accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for Mikhail, I heard he died in obscurity, in a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacony I once knew would never return. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Who could that person even be? Fortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is. Or if they're even real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time, for those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Uh, now if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacony today and the Dream Seekers once hailed as pioneers several Amber eras ago? Gallagher does have a troubled past, it seems. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. That the family isn't all united. Exactly. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else. Probably within the Oak family. And that death is related to the Watchmaker. That lines up with what we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy. And now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. And that Clocky is based on the Watchmaker. Uh, you're really into Clocky, huh? He's just a fictional character, not a real person. Well, then why the hell do I keep talking to him? Speaking of which, that Clocky who only reveals himself to you is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since then. That pretty much sums it up. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt and see how things are going on his end. Mr. Yang, our investigation here has come to an end. How's progress going on your end? Not too bad. The Galaxy Ranger and I agree that the family might be hiding something extremely important. We're now headed to Duvite Pavilion. Acheron, huh? Didn't Aventurine say she was dangerous? I've confirmed that she's on our side. Don't worry. Please wait for a while. I'll keep you posted as soon as I find anything. And now we're going to her Acheron's Are POV dam. Worried about you? They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. 
It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. Because this is her POV, she's gonna be... Well, no, I already have her. What would be the locked Acheron? Oh, you can't look at the details of her. I mean, I got my own, so I don't need yours. <laughs> Um, this is still the place I've already been to, so I have nothing to explore. I'm just catching up. Something feels off. A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight. Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? This door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Just one moment. Light. I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. I see. What an interesting technique. I think I know how her thing works, thank you. And sure, I'll go ahead and kill them like you asked. model in the sand pit. It's the golden hour, isn't it? And the footprints here are They really just rest. give you stuff to go and murder them all, huh? Looks They're right like here. Take them out. Here not long ago. Don't let anything stand in your way, apparently. Well, there aren't any people in this mansion. Set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. Damn it, I couldn't even get ready. I can't do this! Forward! This guy takes a while to kill because you need to kill he's got a he's got a super shield on him. But he literally has a super shield. Uh this guy's gonna be very unfun to fight without adventuring. I weep for the departed. Just because we won't have a shield. Dust spray. It too shall fall. Leave the race. Right no, sometimes interruptions can be perfectly timed, and sometimes they will cannot. Yeah. This is one of the times where they kind of work. Rules are made to be broken. Look, it drops something. A note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Uh, seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Yeah, but I don't know why. Well, you weren't, you aren't, you know, that far away from Aventurine. He was here some hours ago. No one here either. Since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. A letter from Robin. A peculiar change in her voice since she had returned to Penicone. Has to do with the harmony. complete voice loss so it's like when she's in Penacone she just loses her voice completely yeah the harmony has become tainted here and someone killed her because she was actually figuring everything out
She was doing a lot of investigating behind the scenes. As soon as I and the rest of the crew arrived in Penacone, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice. And now it seems I was right. Robin believed it was because the Harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Meaning? If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. I guess th these will be important once I'm done with this over here. List of the victim's death. Oh, this is a big list of deaths they've had. Dragged into the sea by an unknown meme while sunbathing on the beach. Yeah, well, that's fucking nice. Just sitting there sunbathing, eyes closed, and you probably hear this monstrous sound and see yourself get dragged into the water. She fell off the stage and disappeared. Huh. She, so she got put into the back rooms. So he, f he fell down when entering his workplace, and then he got tripped and killed, basically. to him. Jesus, he was just playing a game. Huh. She was drawn towards a mysterious sound calling to her and walked into a screen. She was caught by a meme in a mirror. So this, yeah, the fucking meme kept coming around, killing so many people. Oh yeah, that, no, that's, huh. You blow out the candles and then dead. That's like the last scene in a horror movie. Abducted by a meme. So we're thinking it's the same one, yeah, and not just a, but they keep saying an unknown meme. It has to be the same one. Now, this is when they put it together that that's what it is. So it is one specific memory zone meme that has been constantly going around, taking all forms of people. It's just been that one that you can go bully in the simulated universe. But I am pretty sure it has to be controlled by somebody. The information Probably the Watchmaker. Firefly and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. You could still have it be targeting random victims and still be in control. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. This light cone is securely guarded. It must hold some important memories. I forgot that <laughs> for a second there, I forgot that light cones were actually also not just weapons, but you know, something that we, but basically I forgot they were also, everyone could see it. According to Robin's interview, despite having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. Huh. I wonder how their relationship is now. Well, she seems to still love her brother. Growing up brings gains, but also losses. She loved her brother, yeah. but that didn't change. That was a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth. 
will eventually fade away. I wonder what happens when you look at this now. I don't know, Aventurine's thing is just gone. <laughs> Good. So people who could be betraying them. They carry. No. No, no, some of these names are familiar. These are supposed to be mostly kids. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics. What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. From the fall fan. Wow, they really just told him, yeah, I know your sister's dead, but hey, remember you're still a respected, like, official, so keep your shit in check. Damn. Hmm. Wow, as a matter of your sister's death, we will can we'll continue that when the festival's over. How nice. Old Odie. It seems neither the dream master of Penaconi nor this old Odie is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and everybody has their own agenda. Yeah, that's... 